Hey folks, JD here, and have you ever had one of those days where one lure in your box absolutely annihilated everything else you were using, even though the other plugs look the same? Well, I've had that happen quite a few times over the years, and it's always intrigued me as to why this happens. So I had a pretty interesting situation in Alaska this last summer fishing for coho, where one lure would just get annihilated by these fish, and then another one completely ignored. So we're going to start with Brand X. Brand X was just a bass plug that I painted pink, and figured the coho would munch it. Well, they weren't that into it and uh, at all, as you can see from this. And uh, it's, it's kind of weird because anything pink and wiggling usually gets devoured by these guys. So after a couple casts, I switch it up, go to the two and a half inch maglip from Yakima Bait. Similar size plug, but definitely a little different action to it here. You throw it in and immediately a coho peels off the school. And this is the exact same spot, just a cast later. Another guy comes and eats it. And it was the same deal on and on and on. So then you start going, okay, what's the deal? The color is the same pretty much. The size is the same. The, the rattle is pretty much the same. So it's got to be the action or the diving ability. So let's take a look at the action first. The, the Maglip's got a, a wider sort of skip beat kind of crazy action to it. And, and look at this in slow motion. We missed that fish. I'll show you why. He comes in and this plug's dancing all over the place and he's all excited. And right at the last second, the plug flips and he grabs the head of the lure, misses the hook. Isn't that cool? So you get a big bite and miss it and wonder why. Well, maybe that's what happens sometimes. But anyway, I kept throwing this thing and they kept eating it. And so clearly there was something to the action. But then I thought also, um, maybe it has something to do with the depth the other plug was diving. So I went back to that, and we're going to look at that here in a second as another coho pounds that maglip. So quick, take a look at the action first here. So it's a tighter wiggle on Brand X, and it's not wobbling quite so far off to the left or the right as the maglip. So that might be the real key there. It just it's that exciting action. Then I wondered if it was diving too deep. You see here, it's diving kind of under the fish initially, but then it gets out over deeper water, and it's right in their faces, and they still ignore it, so that's not it. So it's not the depth. So I kind of come to the conclusion that in this case, the size, the color, the depth is all about the same, yet the maglip just was a superior lure. There's no scent or anything on there. It was the same rig. I just kept switching back and forth. So um, it's got to be the action of the plug. And uh, so that's something to really kind of think about in future fishing trips if you're not getting bit. And then... I'm just here's a little teaser for you. I, I ran that same maglip into some uh, trouty water, and here's a here's a dolly going crazy for it. And I've got another video that I'll come out with here soon of these trout and, and dollies going crazy for this thing. They uh, they apparently like the action of that too. But uh, pretty interesting stuff. I will uh, keep after it and uh, keep sending you videos. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my website fishwithjd.com, and then you can go to the YouTube channel as well, which you probably already hear, but. That's uh, Fish with JD at, uh, at YouTube, so.